Hi everyone, welcome back to Alice on the Giant Bookshelf. In today's video I'm going to be talking all about all of my reading plans for the month of April. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name's Alice and I have way too many books and in an effort to read some of those way too many books I thought I would make a little bit of a TBR for April but I'm trying to be a bit more sensible because I don't seem to be reading the books that I put on my TBR. So in the interest of that I've decided to only participate fully in one readathon for the month but I will be mentioning a couple of others. My main aim for this TBR video because it doesn't seem very long to me at all since I filmed my women's prize reading plans and library books that I have out of the library. I have added more library books since then so yeah that's still a bit out of hand and my women's prize reading will still be going on. This will all be alongside that and Therefore I decided that since I only read 10 books in the month of March I would only allow myself to put 10 books if possible onto this TBR. So we will see by the end whether I've actually achieved that or not. Not quite sure yet. First of all I wanted to talk to you about the book that I'm going to be reading for the FOMO book club. This is our book for March and for April. I did mention it in my March TBR because it is a middle grade book and I didn't get to it in March as I expected. I did then get it from the library so I do actually have it here today and that's Bridge to Terabithia by Catherine Patterson. I don't know an awful lot about this one other than what I've read about it in Books of Books. I can't remember if I read about this in Lucy Mangan's Bookworm or possibly Kathy Rents and Brink's Dear Reader. Could even be both but I don't really know what this is about other than that it's very sad. So it's quite a short book. This will be one of my first books for the month hopefully so that I am ready to talk about it with FOMO Book Club which is the book club that I run with Jack from Spread Book Joy and Gemma from Gemma Books and the live show for this one will be hopefully at the end of April or the very beginning of May over on Jack's channels. If you want to join FOMO Book Club you can click on the Discord link down below. If you're not too keen on Discord you can just join in by reading the book and coming along to our live show to talk to us about this or catch up on the live show afterwards. So anyway yes this is the FOMO pick. I will definitely be reading this in April. When I say that I'm only going to fully join in with one readathon this month, that readathon is going to be the TBR Clear Out, which is hosted by Katie Lumsden from Books and Things. And this is simply because it is the readathon that is most likely to get me to actually read some books from the giant TBR. And I want to make sure I do do that because I've got a lot of library books on the go. So I do want to make sure I'm still chipping away at my shelves. But before we talk about the prompts for that and what I'm going to try and read, I do want to also mention two other readathons. One is the Picture This readathon. I'm not including any picture books today in this particular video, but I hope to make some more picture book content uh, later in the month. And this is a readathon that I really, really enjoy, hosted by Jack from Spread Book Joy and Shelley Swearingen. And this is a readathon where you read picture books. So I haven't decided yet which picture books to pick up. I may just get some from the library sporadically throughout the month. I also have some on standby that I keep showing every year as possibilities and a couple of them I still haven't got to so I may get to those. I may reread some old favourites but pitch books are always lovely. I will leave Jack and Shelley's announcements down below. I will be joining in with that but I'm not talking about joining in with that today. The other readathon that I'm not going to fully participate in but I am going to read the group read book because it's a book I've wanted to read for such a long time is People April. This is a readathon hosted by Elizabeth from Book Hands and Books and Roz from Scally Dandling about the books and it's all about reading books about people, real people. My official participation in this readathon is going to be to read the group read which is I Am, I Am, I Am by Maggie O. 
Farrell. This is Maggie O'Farrell's non-fiction and it's her memoir about brushes with death and I've wanted to read it for a really really long time and I'm going to be borrowing it from my mum. So yes that is going to happen but I promise most of the rest of the video is about the TBR clear out readathon. But before we go on to that still I do have the read good challenge to join in with as well. This is a series of different challenges over each month of the year hosted by Ben over at Ben Reads Good and the prompt for April is to read a women's prize winner and I haven't actually read that many women's prize winners but I have read some from recent years and the main one from recent recent years that I haven't yet got to is this one, Hiranesi by Susanna Clark. I feel like this book, although it's a winner, has kind of divided audiences a bit and is a bit out there as far as I can tell. I've wanted to read it for ages. This was the winner in 2021. My mum lent me this book ages ago after she read it and I still haven't read it. I think it's about Piranesi who lives in maybe a sort of house but maybe a sort of maze. I'm not really too sure. It's probably best to go in a bit blind and <laughs> see what it's like. So I think it's going to be quite sort of fantastical we will see. I also do have two buddy reads that I'm not sure if I'm going to fit into the prompts of the TBR clear out. I'm going to go back to an audiobook series that I've been reading with Gemma from Gemma Books and Jack from Spread Book Joy. I'm super excited because we have for a long time been dipping in and out of and reading Joe Abercrombie's First Law series. And we read the First Law trilogy, we moved on to the standalone books, and we're now on the third standalone book, which is Red Country by Joe Abercrombie. I don't want to read the blurb on this because I don't want any spoilers, but it's also set in the First Law world, and it's also narrated by Stephen Pacey, and I cannot wait to get back into this world. We're going to be starting that straight away in April. So my other buddy read is going to be this one, The Man in the High Castle by Philip K. Dick, and I'm going to be reading this with the lovely Berna from Berna's Bookish Adventures. It's been a little while since I've done a buddy read with Berna, so I cannot wait to buddy read with her again. And I think that this one is sci-fi about what if the Nazis had won the Second World War, and the Nazis, I think, have taken over America or parts of it. So interested to read this sort of sci-fi classic. I haven't really read that many sort of apocalyptic um, alternate history type dystopians but I'm really looking forward to reading this one with Berna. That is all of the books that don't necessarily qualify for the TBR clear out although I could definitely count The Man in the High Castle because it is on my giant TBR. Prompt number one for the TBR clear out is to set your own goal. My own goal is five to six books from the giant TBR. In 2024 so far the giant TBR does seem to keep creeping up. It's a good opportunity to get it down a little bit. But I'm not going to set anything too crazy because my reading has definitely slowed down a lot lately. So five to six books seems manageable and it also matches the fact that we have got six other prompts on this readathon just to guide your reading from your TBR a bit. So the first prompt is a book that you've had for the longest time. I was going to draw a book out of the TBR tin, which we have not drawn from in a little while. If you haven't seen it before, the TBR tin contains the names of all of the very oldest books on my giant TBR. These are books that were on my TBR in 2010 or before, and they need to get read this year, hopefully. I'm actually gonna save drawing from the tin for one of the later prompts, because one of the books I know is in the tin was on my, February TBR where other people picked my TBR for me and my mum picked me this one If Nobody Speaks of Remarkable Things by John McGregor. It was definitely on my TBR back at the start of 2010 so it does need to get read. Next up is the book that you've had for the shortest time and there are two possibilities for me here that I really would like to get to in February and one of them is the book I've had for the shortest time but I think I would like to read that for a different prompt. So 
I'll tell you about that in a minute. The other one I would really, really like to read for this prompt is this one, which was the book that I got with my mum in February, and that was A Guest in the House by Emily Carroll. I've only actually acquired two books that I haven't read since this one. I'm really, really excited about this. It's like a horror graphic novel. Cannot wait to get into this one. Next prompt on TBR Clear Out is the longest book on your TBR. And surprise, surprise, I'm going to be selecting a book that won't actually get finished in the month of April, but I will carry on chipping away at it. And that is Ulysses, still the longest book on my TBR, still working on it with Gemma from Gemma Books. This is a buddy read. And you can see we are pretty much halfway in Ulysses now in terms of pages. And we are over halfway in terms of the number of episodes of this. And in April, our aim is to read episode 13, 14, 15 and 16, leaving us only two more episodes. So I'm really hoping that happens, although one of those episodes could be a really, really long one, I think. So we will see how it pans out. But I'm counting this for this readathon as my longest book. The next prompt is the shortest book on your TBR. And this one was a bit trickier to find out because I have got a few short books that I would say are around about the 200 page mark, but I haven't really got anything super short. So this is where my newest book comes in. I haven't actually shown this in a book haul yet, but I bought this with my mum last week. My mum bought me it as part of our subscription that we're doing. The idea of our subscription is that every month we have one trip to a bookshop, we buy each other a book while we're there, and the book that I chose this time was one that I've had on my wish list for ages, and it's Jen Campbell's short story collection, The Beginning of the World in the Middle of the Night. And this is a lovely short book, and it's also good for the short prompt because it is short stories. This clocks in at just over 200 pages, and I cannot wait to read the short stories in this. It says on the back, stories of family and magic, lost souls and superstition, spirits in jam jars, mini apocalypses, animal hearts, and sideshows. And the mini apocalypses bit really, really appeals to me. I think this will be a great book and I can't wait to read it. It's time for the tin because the next prompt is a book you fear you've lost interest in. And I fear I've lost interest in some of the books in this tin. Maybe I will get one that I haven't lost interest in and that will be exciting, but we will see. We will see what I get. I think there's about 20 names of books still left in here, maybe slightly less. So I'm going to pull out this one and it is The Neon Rain, which is appropriate because it's a book that I probably have lost interest in a bit. Um, the Neon Rain was on my list of crime books to read last year and I didn't read it so let's find it. So here it is, The Neon Rain by James Lee Burke. I bought this ages ago from a library sale probably in 2010 or 2009. It's the first book in the Dave Robichaux series. I've actually read I think the seventh book in the Dave Robichaux series. I think I bought them both together for 20 pence each so this book doesn't really owe me anything but I would like to give it a go. I think probably if I don't read this book this month it ought to be leaving the TBR. So the final prompt for the TBR clear out is a book you're excited to get to. I actually took two books on holiday with me in March that would definitely qualify for this and I didn't get time to get to them. So I think I'm gonna pick between these two. To be honest, I might pick like a mood read depending on how things are going. But these are two possibilities and yeah, I'll only read one of them. The one I've written down is actually this one, A Floor in the Design by Nathan Oates, which I think was the final book I was sent for my Mr B's subscription. I do need to be getting on with these because I would like to have read all of the ones I was sent and be able to uh, rank them against each other and talk about which ones were my favourites. So A Floor in the Design is like a psychological thriller, I think, about Matthew and his nephew Gil, who he mistrusts. If you want to know more about this book, I do have a video unboxing it, so I'll link that down below for you if you need more information. 
So it might be that one, but this was the other one that I took on holiday with me and didn't get to for March Mystery Madness, and that's Death and the Conjurer, and I am still really, really excited to get to this one as well. This one got bought in January, again, a gift from my mum, so it could be that as well. So that's all of my TBR, barring any pitch books, for April. Shall we see if I'm stuck to under 10 books? We had Bridge to Terabithia, we had I Am, I Am, I Am, which I don't have the book of on me. We had Piranesi. We had The Man in the High Castle, Red Country, which was an audiobook. And we then had the ones for the TBR um, readathon. So they were these four, uh, these two as well, a guest in the house and if nobody speaks of remarkable things. So is that under 10? My stack has got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But I did mention two books that I don't have in my hand, which is I Am, I Am, I Am, and my audiobook, A Red Country. So 11, it's not too bad, considering Ulysses will only be partly finished in the month. I'd say I kind of stuck to 10, but kind of didn't, so, um, oops. Those are the books I think I will read in April, possibly, um, obviously bearing in mind and caveat that I am also still trying to read women's prize books. Do let me know, are you joining in with any readathons in April? Are you trying to clear out your TBR? I'd love to hear from you in the comments. Let me know what you're looking forward to in April. And thanks for watching today. If you've enjoyed this video, please do give it a like and please do consider subscribing if you haven't already. And I will look forward to seeing you again very soon for another video all about books here on Alice and the Giant Bookshelf. Bye for now.